So today we are making butternut squash soup. So here's the thing, it is officially soup weather, like sweater weather, <laughs> soup weather, if you can call it a thing. And why am I looking so shiny? Oh, well. Anyways, this anyway. is like one of my favorite soups, but and it's so easy. It is so easy to make. You'll see. So I took out three different knives because it's very hard to cut butternut, butternut squash. So I took out three different knives just to see which one would work. I had a feeling this first one wasn't gonna do it. And obviously it didn't. dice up the butternut squash but since it was so hard to peel the skin I decided to just put it to just slice it down the middle and just roast it that way um, I decided to season it which you'll see me do and take the seeds out and just put it face down and put it in the oven at 425 <laughs> this baby had a little attitude it was hard to get those seeds out and normally if you scoop it with the spoon it's fine they come out very easy but this bad boy mm -mm, she was not having it so it took me a minute to get the seeds out but I did <laughs> So the first thing I do is sprinkle the bottom of the pan with a little olive oil and that's just to make sure that it doesn't stick. Um, then I also put a little bit of olive oil, olive oil on both pieces and that's to help with the seasonings and, and of course so that it doesn't stick again when you're cooking it. So, the seasonings that I used was pink Himalayan salt, onion powder, garlic, uh, smoked paprika, and what else did I use? And cayenne pepper. <laughs> I took out my Clorox wipes because I hate having stuff on my spices and then put them back in my cabinets. That's like the worst. So as I cook, I normally wipe down my spices and put them back in the cabinets.
is add garlic. Um, some people like minced garlic. I am not a fan of minced garlic. Uh, when I was young, I used to love it. But now being older, I love fresh garlic. So what I did was took, I believe, three cloves of garlic and I put them in the middle of the butternut squash and I also cut an onion and I do the same. The reason why I put it in at the same time, some people wait until it cook a little and then they take the onions and um, then they put the onions and garlic in, but I prefer to let it cook and take it out uh, halfway through. So I know I always cut my onions wrong and even my mom tells me I cut them the wrong way. You're supposed to put your fingers under and then cut, but sorry. I actually had to do it off camera because if you see the way I cut my onions, you'd be like, girl, your fingers. But this is just the way I do it. <laughs> Don't forget to season your onions and your garlic. That's a must. So these onions have my eyes on fire. Lord, I need to go wipe my eyes. They are burning. See what I mean when I said my eyes was on fire? Oh my God. Ooh, yeah, it was getting real. Okay, so I took it out early to get the onions out because you gotta remember you don't have to cook it as long as you have to cook the squash. So make sure I get all the onions and garlic out. These are a little toasty, but we'll put them in anyway. Let's just check on this for a minute. Let's see how it's gone. Not quite. Well, see, that side is done, but it's not really cooked yet. Yeah, this side I probably could take out sooner. 
Back into the oven she goes. So I decided to make some um, croutons out of the sourdough bread that I had in the freezer. I guess I should have let it thaw out a little bit. You can tell how hard it is. But I wanted to make some fresh croutons to put on my soup. So freaking good. So what I'm gonna do is season the croutons with a little bit of olive oil, garlic powder, onion powder, and a little bit of oregano and a little vegan parmesan cheese just to give it that kick. get enough olive oil on each piece of bread so that it cooks uh, well. You don't want it too dry and you want the seasoning to really stick to the bread. the oregano make sure you season it very well with the oregano I have to go get the vegan parm cheese so I'm gonna add a little bit of um, cheese to it and with this go veggie cheese you just need to add a little and let me warn you the smell is strong it's stronger than regular parm cheese and whew, it's strong again mix it really well so you get the seasonings on each and every piece of course I would drop one but make sure you season it very very well before you put it in the oven so here I took the skin off the um, first piece so I'm cutting it up and putting it into my bowl so it can cool off just a little before I put it into my food processor. Now it's time to get everything into my blender. Um, if you're using a regular blender that doesn't have a spout at the top, I would definitely tell you to wait until it cool off because you don't want it to explode all over the place because the heat from the food will definitely 
make it pop open and you will truly have a mess. The first thing that I'm gonna add to the butternut squash is a little bit of vegan butter. Um, I choose to use Earth Balance. After that, I'm gonna add a little bit of maple syrup. Uh, this is my Whole Foods maple syrup. I think that's where I got that one from. Yeah, it's organic maple syrup. And then I'm gonna add in my vegetable broth. Well, it's not really broth, but it's it help makes like a vegetable stock it's really good if you can get the vegan chicken one oh that one is awesome too and after that i'm just going to start to add in my seasonings uh, i'm going to add in a little bit of turmeric not too much turmeric i am not a big fan of the taste of turmeric so i only add a little bit of turmeric to that I also add a little bit of cinnamon and a little bit of nutmeg. And don't forget about your onions and garlic because it gives it that amazing taste. You see that it's a little full. So what I'm gonna do is just add my coconut milk, which gives it an amazing creamy taste. I mean, you have to try it with this coconut milk. It was added a little bit of um, Creole seasoning, garlic powder, and onion powder. And what I what I'm doing now is just pulsing it a little so that it would go down, and I could add some more of the butternut squash. So now I'm just gonna let it do it do its thing. doing is adding as much milk as you need um, it all depends on how you like your soup I really don't care for a thick thick butternut squash soup like I need some type of movement to it um, I don't want it like sweet potatoes so what I'm gonna keep doing is adding milk in it until it gets to the consistency that I want it I also added a little bit of um, vegan cream cheese to it to give it a little kick. you I'm always cleaning as I go as you see I have my Clorox wipes wiping it off <laughs> while I'm in the process of cooking I like to clean as I go so I don't have that much mess to clean up So I had to get my spoon so I could taste it and see if it was the consistency that I wanted it. I know it looks a little thick, so it's probably not. I'm probably going to have to add just a little bit more almond milk, well, coconut almond milk to make it the consistency that I like.
to me. Um, I'm not sure. Let me get my spoon so I can try it. I have to get a clean spoon. So let's try it again. And uh, I think I need to add just a tiny bit more milk. finished product I added a little bit of pumpkin seeds on top a little um, a little bit more milk and a tiny bit more maple syrup to give it that kick and it tastes amazing and you see the consistency it's not too thick and it's not too thin perfect So thanks for hanging with me today. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one. Love you guys.